Welcome back to For to Matt. I am your host, Raphael Thompson. And today I will be revising questions on paper three. Yeah, paper three of the BGCSE. This is for grade 11 and 12 students. So get your pencil and paper ready. Let's go. I have a timer set for each of the 10 questions. So work fast so you can get your answers and we will do the answers at the end. Here we go. Question one. Solve the following pair of simultaneous equations. X minus 2Y is equal to 8 and X plus 2Y is equal to 4. Go ahead, get it done. Timer is off and running. Work fast. You should be finishing up by now. And we move on to question two. Solve the inequality three minus five X is greater than or equal to 23. Solve this inequality, the timer is off and going. Work it fast, see what you can come up with. Remember this is paper three. These are sample questions from the last paper on the BGCSE. You should be finished with that one and we move on to question three. Solve the following equation for y, giving your answer in scientific notation or standard form. 2.3 times 10, negative 2 in parentheses times y is equal to in parentheses 1.15 times 10 to the 3 10 to the third power go ahead solve for y you should be finishing up and we move on to question four. Value added tax of 12% is added to the purchase price of shopping goods. The final price of these goods is $212.80. Calculate the price of the goods before value added tax is applied. Should be finishing up now and we move on to question five for the matrices a and you have three negative two four zero and b two three five negative one calculate the matrix product b a work it fast matrices you have to know how to deal with them for paper 3 BGCSE guys here we go you should be finishing up by now yes and we move on to question 6 Kim works a regular 40 hour week with overtime paid a time and a quarter a regular pay is $12 an hour Last week she worked 48 hours in total. Calculate her total earnings for last week. You should be finishing up by now. 
Yes, and we move on to question 7. Vector AB is equal to Y, vector DA is equal to X, and vector CB is equal to Z. Express in terms of X, Y, and Z, A, vector DB, and B, vector AC. Go ahead. These are the simpler questions. Uh, they get a bit harder than this, so you need to be able to do these before you get to the real hard questions dealing with these concepts. Okay, you should be finishing up by now. And we move on to question eight. In the diagram, O is the center of the circle. Find angle AOC. Use the numbers. Work it out, get cracking, the timer is off and running. You should be finishing up. And we move on to question nine. Simplify x squared minus one all over three x squared plus x minus two. Simplify it. This is algebra. You need to know how to handle questions like this. For paper three, BGCSE. Should be wrapping it up by now. Question nine, one more question to go, guys. And here we go, question 10. The functions f and g are defined as follows. f of x is equal to x squared minus two, and g of x is x plus one. A, calculate the value of f to the negative three, and B, calculate the value of x for which g of x is equal to negative 5. Go ahead, get cracking. You need to be able to deal with functions on paper 3 of the BGCSE. Yeah, and this is a simple one. Gets a lot harder than this for functions. This is just the introductory part. Next time, it gets a bit harder for you guys. You should be finishing up. And you know what's coming up now. We will be dealing with answers, of course. So mark your paper. Let's see how many of those you got correct. Question one. Solve the following pair of simultaneous equations. You add equation one and equation two. The first thing is 2x is equal to 12. You add, get rid of the y's. 2x is 12. So x is 12 divided by 2x is 6 done. Once you get x is 6, substitute it into 1. 6 minus 2y is 8. So negative 2y is 8 minus 6. Negative 2y is 2. So you want to find y. You have to divide by negative 2. y is equal to 2 divided by negative 2. y is equal to negative 1. That's all of the working you have to show. And your answer, x is 6, y is equal to negative 1. Done. Question 2. Solve the inequality. Here we go. You want to leave the negative 5x to the front and take that number to the back. So negative 5x is greater than or equal to 23 minus 3, which is greater than or equal to 20. So negative 5x is greater than or equal to 20. You want to solve for x, so you divide by 5, so you switch the inequality around. So x is less than or equal to 20 divided by negative 5, and 20 divided by negative 5 is x is less than or equal to negative 4. Done. Remember you had to switch the inequality around once you divide and multiply by a negative number. Question 3. Solve the following equation for y. So it's 2.3 times 10 to negative 2 times y. So you have to divide it when you remove it. 
So you put y is equal to 1.15 times 10 to the 3 divided by 2.3 times 10 to the negative 2. Use a calculator. 1.15 divided by 2.3. What do you get? You can use your calculator, guys. 0 0.5 times 10 to the 5. That's not in standard form. You have to move the point one place to the right. So y is equal to 5 times 10. And what do you do? You subtract 1. So it's 10 to the 4. y is equal to 5 times 10 to the 4. That's scientific notation or standard form. Done. Question 3. Question 4. Value added tax is added to the price. The price is $212.80. So you want to know what it was before you added value added tax of 12%. So y times 112%. You add 100 to the 12. So it's 112% is equal to $212.80. So you have to divide by 112%, which is 100. 112 over 100 when you multiply the, it becomes 100 over 112 and use a calculator work that out final answer 190 dollars okay but you had to divide by it by 112 and then it changes the answer you put the 100 on the top okay question five for the matrices is 3, negative 2, 4, 0, and B is 2, 3. First of all, you have to write them in order. So put the 1, B to the front times A to the back, and then you multiply the row by the row by the column. So that's where I got those numbers from. 2 times 3 plus 3 times 4, and then 2 times negative 2 plus 3 times 0 on the top, and then on the bottom, 5 times 3 plus negative 1 times 4, and 5 times negative 2 plus negative 1 times 0. So your final answer would be 18, negative 4, 11, negative 10. You have to remember you multiply the row by the column. Question six. Kim works a regular 40 hour week with overtime, pay the time and a quarter. Regular pay is $12 an hour. So you need to figure out her regular pay first. Her regular pay would be 40 hours times $12. That's what she's paid an hour. So that's $480. Then her overtime pay is eight times $15, $120. Where we got the $15 from? Time and a quarter. Time is $12 a quarter would be a quarter times 12, which is $3. So 12 and 3 is $15. Then add the numbers for your total earnings, $480 plus $120. So her total earnings for the week would be $600. Done. Question seven, vectors. So you have to find vector DB. That's the green line there, DB. You're going from D to B. So you go from the tail to the head. So that's X, and X is going in that direction, and Y plus Y, Y is going in the, in the same direction. So D, vector DB is equal to X plus Y. The vectors are all going in the same direction. Now let's figure out AC. Yeah, that's A, you're going from A to C, so you go from the tail to the head, so that's Y. Y is going in that direction, so that's positive Y. And then you go along BC, but BC is going in the opposite direction. So it would be negative. You have to put negative Z. So it's Y minus Z for that vector AC. Okay, question eight. In the diagram, we send the circle and we want to find angle AOC, the angle in the middle. So you can put that, that's a isosceles, so that's 25. And the other triangle is an isosceles also, you're dealing with the radii. So that would be 50. Once you find that, double that and that would give you AOC because the angle subtended at the circumference would be half the angle subtended at the center. So you get 75, 75 times 2, 150, 150 degrees. So AOC is 75 times 2 is 150 degrees. Once you find those two angles there, you are, you're set. Done. Question 9. Simplify. X squared minus 1 difference of 2 squares, so it's X plus 1. X minus one of the factors on top, on the bottom. When you factorize three X squared plus X minus two, you get three X minus two and X plus one. Cancel out X plus one on top, X plus one on the bottom. On the top, you'll be left with X minus one. On the bottom, you'll be left with three X minus two. That's it, you can't cancel it any further. You've simplified it as far as it can go. So you have to do the factors for his factorized top, factorized bottom, cancel out factors that are alike and then write the answer that is left done 
last but not least question 10 functions so calculate the value of f to the negative 3 so where you see x you put negative 3 so it's negative 3 squared minus 2 9 minus 2 minus 9 minus is plus so you get positive 9 minus 2 is 7 calculate the value of x so which g of x is negative 5 so x plus 1 is equal to negative 5 solve for x x is equal to negative 5 minus 1 which is negative 6 so your answer for a was 7 your answer for b is negative 6 put your marks in guys how much did you get correct what you get wrong just go back over and get it done you have to get these concepts done for BGCSE paper tree please share me out and i will see you in the next one that's a wrap